one minute history, the Virginia plan, a quick review. The Virginia plan was the first plan submitted for the creation of our new government at the Constitution Convention in Philadelphia in 1787. Edmund Randolph and James Madison from Virginia uh, created the plan. It favors the larger states by giving them more power because they had more population. Um, it creates a two house system of legislator or bicameral system of legislator and the seats are based on the state population. One house is elected by the people, while the other house is elected by the state legislatures themselves. The chief executive will be chosen by the legislator, so the president is chosen by the Congress. The judicial branch would also be cho chosen by the legislature, so this is giving the legislative branch uh, massive amounts of power, and it's giving the uh, states with more population a lot of power because they're going to have many more votes in the legislative branch. It does create a three-branch system like we have today, judicial, legislative, and executive. Um, again, it's the first proposal. The small states obviously don't like it. They're worried they're going to be overpowered by states with larger populations, so they will propose their own plan, the New Jersey plan. Um, some of the ideas of the Virginia plan are used, like the idea of having three branches of government and a bicameral system. Um, but overall, this, this plan um, gives the legislator a lot of power, and it's going to have to be compromised on um, as it will mix with the New Jersey plan and the Great Compromise to form the Constitution we have today.